This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial stability. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 6, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Israel moving forward with Rafah ground offensive. This after over 50 targets in Rafah hit by the IDF last night prior to the ground offensive starting today. The last several hours have seen a significant escalation of the situation in southern Gaza city of Rafah sending Western diplomats scrambling and resulting in new threats and counter-threats between Hamas and Israeli leaders. The Israeli Defense Forces, the IDF, have urged many thousands of Palestinian civilians to urgently evacuate ahead of an impending ground offensive. In the overnight hours, Israel Defense Minister Yov Gallant told U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin that Israel now believes it has no choice but to carry on with a major ground operation despite it having been stalled for months. Gallant cited that a Hamas rocket attack was carried out from Rahaf, killing four Israeli soldiers. Airstrikes in eastern Rahaf have already begun, and residents and refugees there are being dropped flyers by the millions, and homes are also reportedly receiving urgent messages telling them to evacuate immediately. An expanded humanitarian zone is being set up by the IDF in the vicinity of the al Mawaski and Khan Yunus areas of southern Gaza, seen here on my map. There's an estimated 1.5 million refugees in eastern Rafah. The IDF is calling this a limited scope operation, with Army spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Nadav Shoshani describing that for now 100,000 people were being ordered to move to the humanitarian zone. The Army has further issued a map of the evacuation area and safe zones. A military statement said that, quote, in accordance with the approval of the political echelon, the IDF calls on the population, which is under the control of Hamas, to temporarily evacuate from the eastern neighborhoods of Rafah to the expanded humanitarian zone. Quote, this matter will progress gradually, according to an ongoing assessment of the situation, the IDF added. Quote, the IDF will continue to pursue Hamas everywhere in Gaza until all the hostages that they are holding in captivity or back home. Ladies and gentlemen, that's never going to happen, and they already know that. Those hostages are long gone, as we all know. As for the tens of thousands of warning flyers currently being dropped, one reads, anyone found near militant organizations endangers themselves and their family members. For your safety, the Army urges you to evacuate immediately to the expanded humanitarian areas. And the flyers further stipulate, quote, it is prohibited to come near to the eastern and southern security fences. Humanitarian aid organizations, including the United Nations and some Western governments, have warned that an all-out assault on Rafah, which has swelled during the war to some 1.5 million people, mostly displaced refugees, will be a humanitarian catastrophe. God bless you and yours, folks. This is a picture of the actual camp in eastern Rafah, where so many people have fled after all the attacks on Gaza. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro world. God bless.